Okay, so here's a quick video on how to bypass catalytic converter on a GM. The O2 sensor that causes that code underneath the vehicle right behind the cab. There's the port where this sensor plugs in right in there. That's what causes your cat codes. Check engine lights. I already beat the guts out of this cat. Bypassed everything that's in there, welded it all back up. But now I'm getting a check engine light. So, in order to get rid of that check engine light, have your engine run better, you need to go buy a pack of these. This sensor is an 18 millimeter these are spark plug non fowlers come in two packs you have to drill one of them out see I got the one that I drilled out it takes a half inch drill bit you drill that out so that this O2 sensor can get a better angle so that O2 sensor the drilled one can go on and screw in. Without hitting, here's the non drilled one. And you screw that non drilled one onto the drilled one. And then you just screw that back in get rid of your check engine light. Another trick, I know it's not the best, but to get these O2 sensors off, because they're gonna be tight, you take, see right there, there's two little tabs right there on that plug. So you take a pair of pliers, I've already done this, but, Take a pair of pliers and you just squeeze it together to bend that those two little tabs in and that way you can get your wrench 7 8 wrench box inside will now fit right through there it's a little tight but it'll go now and that way when you're going to break this thing loose get that box inside on the O2 and then you can use another wrench as a cheater give you more leverage makes it a lot easier trying to break that loose hope this helps somebody there's my video